Someday I would buy galleys with good oars and sails to distant shores. Stand up high in the crowd. Hello and welcome to the People's Third Series Check and Series Package Update as of February 7th, 2020. Today on the agenda, we have to start off with that about what's going on with the current stimulus package update. Is if you've been with me for the past, you've actually known that I have actually talked about the eligibility requirements for the um, next round of stimulus checks going for the people. We know that Democrats and Republicans are deciding whether they should increase or decrease the um, overall cap that you can make for your taxable income from 75000 down to anywhere to 40000 for Republicans and I think Bernie, I know Bernie Sanders, which is a very progressive Democrat, does not want to actually budge from the $75,000 cap that's currently on the um, requirements for the stimulus check, which, hey, I don't mind. I make under $75,000 and I know I make under $40,000 too, so... I get this in this check no matter what. I know there's many of other millions of millions of Americans out there that would actually also benefit from a stimulus check from Biden and our Congress. But, like I said, they're trying to um, basically uh, increase them to a lower amount. I think the lowest amount I saw was $40,000 for your taxable income. And then past that, you start to phase out, so your check is lower and lower and lower up to a certain amount. And as I pointed out to you, Bernie Sanders does not wish to do this. He wants to keep it as it is and not try to increase it. Politicians want to target the um, checks more tighter than they did last last two times. Because you remember last two times, the, the income the cap was set at 75000 per single, 150 for joint filers. So basically, all those people got their full amount of this check. And <clears throat> basically every senator, except for Rand Paul, voted not to give the upper income class tax earners a stimulus check. And why I say this is because if you think about it here, right, all the senators got a $36,000 stimulus check off the CARES Act. And they earn the most money out of all the people that I know of that, of course, aren't like mega rich or, or movie stars. They earn more money than I do in a year. I mean, come on, they earn like $179,000 for one person in a year. They should never even got a penny of a stimulus check. But yet they still gave themselves one from the CARES Act. And to turn my page, oh my gosh, so much fun to turn my page. And it looks like we will see a phase out for the checks. I mean, like I said, they're talking about anywhere from forty dollars to $50,000 so is a top of the income earning tax limit. So we'll see a phase out around around about forty or fifty thousand dollars depending on which one they choose from. We currently do not know what these num the numbers really are because like I said we have many people debating the income cap for the stimulus checks. And but it'll become more clear over the weeks after we get done doing the Donald Trump impeachment trials. And I don't know how well they're really going because they, most of his attorneys are basically quitting because he wants to go through the electoral fraud version of the um, impeachment trials, which, hey, if he wants to go through the um, impeachment trials thing of voter fraud, then he'll lose. And like I said, most, I see, I am on multiple, multiple platforms. I'm on TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, as you can see. There's a few other ones, and I've been watching a lot of videos out there of basically all these uh, people out there that are, well, just, let's put it this way, just what really isn't with it at the present time, because they're still praising Donald Trump as their savior and saying that, wait until March 4th, then he'll be elected as the 19th president again. Unfortunately, I don't think that's possible, because... Biden is currently the 46th president of the United States. Why would we go back? That's a topic for a different story. Um, Bernie Sanders tweeted on a on the side of a the issue yesterday, and you know what? I'll actually let you read what he said.
So basically, there will be some sort of pushback for the lower income limits from progressives, the progressive Democrats, basically, like Bernie Sanders. I don't believe Bernie would even support decreasing the um, stimulus checks going out to $60,000 or less. I think he wants to stick at seventy five, dollars if not try to increase it. And on the COVID news, it turns out that the UK variant of the COVID is spreading more rapidly in the United States. That's right. The, the COVID version of, uh, sorry, the UK version of the COVID virus is actually spreading more rapidly in the United States. I mean, they're very, Moderna and AstraZeneca have basically already said that their virus is, their, sorry, their vaccine is actually less effective against the, um, what is it? And not, not, not Africa, I think it's North Africa, their variant of the COVID-19 disease. And that's actually not good because we also have Johnson & Johnson out there, which also has a vaccine as well, but their vaccine is only 60% effective against the current version of the COVID-19. Um, current data shows that it is spreading at 35 to 45% than the other COVID-19 strains, or coronavirus strains, the United States. And there has been a pretty fierce debate about the um, lockdowns and mask mandates. The, as we see, we see a lot of Republicans walking around the Senate and the House not wearing masks, where we see Democrats wearing masks a lot. So they're, they're going to be debating over that as well. And like I said, I mean, we, know, we do know the kind of, the kind of sticking point, as I've really kind of been over multiple times in my broadcast days, is the, um, the income threshold to be qualified for this check. And as more information becomes available to you, I will make sure it becomes available to you so you guys know. So until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening, and I'll broadcast with you tomorrow or Tuesday at best. Till then.